ladies and gentlemen, won't you please welcome Miss Maxine Andrews. Until I first met you, I was lonesome. And when you came in sight, dear, my heart grew light. And this whole world seemed new to me. You're really so well, I have to admit you. Deserve expressions that really fit you. And so I rack my brain, hoping to explain all the things that you do to me. I really I was able to sing. And I would also like to sing some songs for you that I wasn't able to sing as one of the Andrews sisters. So if you will just sit back, relax, and come along with me. I'll go my way by myself. This is my wonderful chance. I'll go my way by myself. Life is only a dance. I'll try to apply myself and teach my
this song is dying. Maybe this song is dying. Maybe this song is dying. This was the first song that the Andrew sisters sang as a trio. Now, it all started in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and picture this if you can. Three little girls sitting in the kitchen of their home when... Bill, Bill. These three little girls were sitting in the kitchen of their home when... Isn't this going to be time? It's right. It's when I play with time. Someone's going to get to a time. No, I said play Dinah. Banjo, strumming, someone's... Does that do anything to you? Very little. <laughs> that's not Dinah, that's Dinah Shore Dinah. He said play Dinah, I play Dinah, that's Dinah Shore Dinah. If you want me to play Dinah Shore Dinah, I would play Dinah Shore Dinah. But you said play Dinah. Well, would you play Dinah Shore Dinah? I'll play anything you want. I'm glad that I don't know what I'm saying. You're doing very well so far, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Dinah Shore Dinah. Thank you. You got it. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Story. These three little girls were sitting in the kitchen of their family home when my sister Laverne said, Pat, Patty, you sing this note. And Maxine, you sing this note. And I will sing this note. And then we gave the first chorus to little Patty. Merely holding on 
but you for God. signed us and they said girls you've got nothing to worry about when you come to Hollywood why we'll roll out the red rug I see. I see. that's the carpet they roll out the red carpet <laughs> oh no Universal rolled out the red rug <laughs> and they said the sky is the limit why you'll have the best of everything you'll have the best wardrobe the best makeup the best scripts Oh, don't worry. Well, let me tell you something about Mr. Jack Pierce, who was the makeup man. He was supposed to transform the Andrew sisters into three Hollywood beauties. And then we found the last two beauties he transformed, the Wolfman and Frankenstein. <laughs> you didn't see those movies. <laughs> well, let me tell you about the beautiful scripts we got. These are some of the titles. How's about it? Her lucky night? Oh, that ghost? What's cooking? Give out sisters? And while I was dreaming of Clark Gable and Tyrone Power, we got the Rich Brothers and Abbott and Costello. Oh, but we didn't care. We also got the opportunity to introduce and sing some wonderful music. Now, this song we did in Buck Privates. It's always been a favorite of mine, okay? Hope you like it. Hey, what kind of beat is that? Man, that really spins my hat. It doesn't sound like boogie woogie, but it's really got a beat. Seems to me that it's in four. Let me hear it just once more while I latch on to that rhythm. Solid folks, my beat. Some folks like to hear eight beat rhythm. I go for that stuff no more. Anytime you really want to send me, bounce me, brother, with a solid core. Come on in, the whole joint is jumping. Everybody's up on the floor. While I try to keep the rhythm pumping, bounce me, brother, with a solid core. The boogie woogie was never like this. It's got a new beat that no one can miss. If boogie woogie set you like a thing kid did, hey, go to the bar, we'll flip your lid. Move the tables and roll the rug up. Shut the windows and lock the door. While I try to make the little crown jug up, I'll sweet brother with the sound of the floor. Look out. Throw your way. 
I know you all know the lyrics to this, so I want you to sing with me, okay? All right, you gonna sing with me? Sister Laverne, because she was just getting in at that time. <laughs> True. But Mr. Crosby was his most joyous when we recorded songs like this. You got an accent to wake the positive. Do it. 
children and you will hear. About the lemonade, no negative, and the accent on the positive. Hear, 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 tell us. Sing it out, sister. Thank you. So gather round me, children, if you're willing, but sit tight. While we start reviewing the attitude to do in rhyme. Will you sing with me? Why not? Good. All together, you got it. Accent, sweet the positive.
Peter's record career, we were very privileged to work with some beautiful and very talented people. And one of my all-time favorites was that little bombshell from South America. I'm sorry she can't be with us this evening, but I do have a reasonable facsimile. So, hasta la vista, punta la vista. Um, We gotta get going and where are we going and what are we going to do? We're on our way to somewhere where a few of us are new. Oh, I wonder if you have room to be there. What be the big surprise? There may be genialitas with dark and flashing eyes. We're on our way.
fun we had. Then laughter turned sad. through the kitchen, I ran my finger almost over all of my food. <laughs> Terrible? <laughs> Tell me, would you, would you like to hear some more of the old songs? <laughs> Yeah, 
to the attitude, it goes to to the vibe. It will be rhythm, it can't go to no one else, a basic guitar, a play in the rhythm. Sing in the early bright, I got the hands and stand up there. We're closing out this place, we're going to kiss and we're feeding. When it breaks it up, we're going to kiss and we're feeding. He's a boogie boogie, feel the boy, come back to me. Da 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 da
And the miracle was that I had never seen this woman perform the way she performed that night. I've seen her in movies, magnificent actress. But when she walked out on that stage, and I remember we were sitting up here, and she walked out, and all she had to do was walk out and stand and look up at her audience. And that was the miracle. It was like you could see the whole audience in the palm of her hands. Ladies and gentlemen, please, would you say hello to Geraldine Fitzgerald? like this around because I, I, I really am rather a critical uh, a performer about my fellow performers because uh, I always feel that you as a public, we owe you a lot in our performance. And uh, this woman has done something that, uh, well, it's beyond my, my explaining. It really, it really, you have to see her to understand the magic and the, the beauty when she gets out there and if you've never known what it is to walk out in front of an audience and all of a sudden instinctively know you have your audience right here, it's a great, great feeling. And this lady has got the ability to do that. I covet that. <laughs> Oh, darling. Is that the, are those, those the answers brothers with you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, nobody be able to live with me from now on. <laughs> God bless you, Geraldine. And if, I understand you're going up to Boston? Yes. With, oh, if you're taking Phil, return him. That's all. <laughs> He said, look, I can't get any creases in it. <laughs> and I wondered how he was going to play piano, like this. <laughs> oh, I, I'm just kidding you, Phil. You're, you're really wonderful. I do want you to say hello to uh, a young lady that, uh, Geraldine, that you don't know. I don't know that you see the act, but the act is, is sensational. And um, I really want Jimmy to book them in this, in this room, because I think the act would be tremendous here. And I think there's just one third of the act, but it's uh, Peggy Hewitt. Peggy, stand up and show everybody how beautiful you are. <laughs> Peggy and Norman Rollins and uh, the old girl orchestra, Miss Fawn. <laughs> but it's a smash, it really is a smashing act. So Jimmy, here, here. You're here. Now, I have wasted your time with, not really wasted your time, not with Geraldine and, and Peggy, but enough of my fault or all. I would love to leave you, Phil and I would like to leave you with this thought. Bye, me, Mr. Shane. 
Please let me explain. By mere Mr. Shane means that you're grand. By mere Mr. Shane, again I'll explain. It means you're the fairest in this land. I could say, Bella, Bella, even say, Wunder bar each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I try to explain my mirrors to shame. So I kiss you, I bid you good night. God bless you. Be kind to yourselves, and above all, be kind to each other. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, amen.